morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's almost like instinctive. I want to do a head count real quick, but I'll just say there's like 24 of us or so. Um, let's start with a uh, responsive call to worship, please. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Amen. Uh, a few announcements. First of all, does anybody have an announcement, Sandy? In case you didn't hear that, uh, Sandy made a request for small tape measures with both uh, standard and metric, and uh, they'll be uh, put in the shoe boxes later this fall. Any other? Uh, okay, Ernie. If you are following or I have to get on you yet to uh, volunteer for a reading during our services, and you'd like to, uh, please come and see one of us. We'd like to get you on the list. And, and uh, if we, we, we don't want to steal your blessing, it's an opportunity. Thank you, Ernie. And it truly is a blessing to participate in the worship service. And thank you. Kathy? I'd just like to uh, thank Polly and Georgia for helping out at the Blood Drive Friday. We reached 31 <laughs> pints, which was <clears throat> the highest in recent memory. So thank you for all the support for that. All right. Praise the Lord. That's great, great. Uh, just a little uh, note to session members. <clears throat> we'll, have a, uh, we'll have a session meeting sometime uh, in September. Uh, we'll arrange with, uh, with uh, Christine Love or Nancy Johnston uh, to moderate, so that'll be coming sometime this month, or I'm sorry, next month. And uh, also, um, I'm fairly certain that uh, September 6th we'll have communion. Uh, Reverend Mark Dowdy will be here to uh, to take care of that for us. Um, I think <clears throat> he hasn't he hasn't answered my email. Um, <laughs> And the uh, search team is just kind of going along on uh, cruise control. We've interviewed a couple of candidates. Uh, one unfortunately dropped out. She uh, took another calling somewhere. And, but now there's another one who's kind of looking our way. So we'll kind of hold on and, and see what happens there. <clears throat> Any other announcements? We will uh, hear them. I think Georgia has something for us. In preparation for today's message, I will be reading from Psalm 91. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty can say to him, 
You are my defender and protector. You are my God, in you I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden, hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day or the plagues that strike in the dark or the evils that kill in the daylight. A thousand may fall dead beside you, 10,000 all around you, but you will not be harmed. You will look and see how the wicked are punished. You have made the Lord your defender, the Most High your protector, and so no disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. God will put his angels in charge of you to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands to keep you from hurting your feet on the stones. You will trample down lions and snakes fierce lions and poisonous snakes, and will protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with long life, and I will save them. I'm sorry, I, I should have mentioned during announcements that, uh, like, uh, as Georgia mentioned, we'll be hearing uh, a sermon today about Psalm 91, and that'll be uh, uh, brought to us by Reverend Elizabeth Klein, who we've seen before on the big screen. <clears throat> the pressure to conform to this world to capitulate to earthly powers rather than fear the Lord tempts us sometimes, and sometimes we give in to that temptation. We confess Jesus is Lord with our lips, but our actions reveal that our loyalty lies elsewhere. Nonetheless, God is merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. With the confidence of the children of God, we join together and confess our sin. Join me, please, in the prayer of confession. Lord, we grow hard-hearted, seeing each other as competing for scarce resources, rather than one human family created and cared for by you, our infinite love and abundance. We conform easily to the ways of the world, striving endlessly for those things that do not satisfy, practicing greed and participating in systems that hurt people and creation. You call us to another way, the way of Christ Jesus our Lord, a way of compassion and justice, love and service. You offer us a life of joy and grace, mercy and redemption readily available to us when we repent and seek you and your righteousness first. We turn to you now, forgive and free us, we pray. Amen. We can trust that when we call out to God, God hears and responds. When we humble ourselves and honestly confess God forgives and makes of us new creations. Friends, believe the good news. Through Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. Today I'll be reading Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, as written in the New International Version. Of the Bible, the armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. 
Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and as, so that on the day that evil... Excuse me, I lost my spot there. Against the powers of the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, uh, so that on the day that evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, stand firm, and then firm again, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and keep on praying for the saints. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow, thank you, Dr. Klein. That was a <laughs> wonderful sermon. <clears throat> Gotta find my place there. Freely we have received, freely let us give with joyous and generous hearts. Let us offer to God a portion of what God has entrusted to us. Let us worship as we give. Receive these gifts, gracious God, bless them, and distribute them in ways that reveal to the world your loving kindness and steadfast love. In a season of great upheaval and much uncertainty, may the giving of our resources and the sharing of our lives bring hope, comfort, and relief to those most in need of good news. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Lord, as we bow in prayer, we lift up those prayers and praises offered off camera by those gathered here. Lord, when the world looks at us, your church, who do they see you are? We pray through the testimony of our lives and ministry, others glimpse clearly your goodness and compassion. We hope that indeed the world knows we are followers by our love. Where we have fallen short of that commandment, forgive us and send us your spirit to correct and transform us. When we attempt to love you our, and our neighbors, strengthen that urge and embolden our witness. As the summer moves into fall, we admit our weariness with the ongoing threats brought on by this pandemic. We had hoped to be through the worst of this health crisis and all its fallout moving headlong into the events and transition that marked this time of year. Instead, we continue to navigate the troubled waters all around us, unsure when this storm and all the damage it has wrought will come to an end. Quiet our anxious minds, Prince of Peace. Grant us courage for living of these days. Do not let our faith fail when we need to put it into practice most. We ask for the wisdom as we seek to make decisions and act in ways that bring healing and wholeness to the brokenness we feel within and see all around us. As followers of the one through whom all things are possible, give us vivid imaginations for how the difficulties of this time can be used by you to bring good and build communities of mutual care. Trusting your promise that even the gates of hell will not prevail against your church, we pray to take risks for the sake of the gospel, but make for abundant life for all people. We voice to you who counts every hair on our head 
and promises never to abandon us, the concerns we hold near to our hearts this day. Hear our prayers for those closest to us for whom we worry and wonder how to support. Intervene for those farthest from us that we do not know, those we do not want to know, those known only to you. Call us to you now so that we might be drawn to one another and through you made one, a vision on earth of the multiple tribes and nations united in worship and praise. Make us the rocks upon which your church stands firm, a beacon of light that provides warmth, direction, and comfort to the world you so love. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Christ, your Son, who taught us to say when we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our hymn today is, Within Your Shelter, Loving God. Within your shelter, loving God, my refuge and my tower, I safely walk by day and night beneath your guiding power. Because I trust in you alone, no evil shall come near. The strong defender of my home, with you I have no fear. Your holy angels bear me up and keep my feet secure. Though fierce and angry foes assail, in you may my way is sure. As often as I call to you, you kindly hear my prayer. In times of trouble and distress, I rest in your own care. All those who know your name on earth shall life abundant know. On all abiding in your love, your saving grace bestow. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.